dashboards and reports that make up an ROI of a system like WorkOtter. So let's see how our dashboards, reports, and visualizations really enable you to get the data out and turn it into wisdom that you can act and react upon for your business. First, let's cover the difference between dashboards and reports. And the easiest place to do that would be, of course, in the View All Reports under the Dashboard menu. Reports are basically what you think. There's some combination of a limited number of visualizations, like a pie chart or a bar chart, with perhaps some tabular data. Now, some reports just have tabular data, and some reports just have the visualization. What is a dashboard then? Well, a dashboard is a way where you can combine many different tabular and visualizations into one comprehensive dashboard. So let me give you some visual cues on how to tell the difference between them and how you can work within them. So I'm going to pick under the visualizations category. So the reports are broken down into categories. And the good news is you can create your own. And you can do save as with any of our reports and create copies of these reports, share them with others who will then see the reports. Uh, and then you can also combine them again into dashboards. But let's pick on this first one as an example. This is a cost by organization hierarchy. And there's some things that we can share with you about this user experience. The reports, when you're inside of them, uh, have their own menu. So you can see that. Uh, and then they have their own submenu, where here's where, like I was talking about, I can save or save as. Or if I want to print, uh, we recommend PDF or save it into another format, like Excel or Word, which are very popular. You can also email directly this report. Uh, if you have this little icon, this is the designer icon, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Moving over to the right, these are my filters. I can turn them on and off, and these filters you know, uh, allow you to create new ones as well. So if you want to add a filter, you can pick from many different types of filters and these filters are smart filters where basically if you pick a filter we know the kind of data that you're looking at and we can definitely help you um, so if I want to see something with a planned start date so now I could type in the date but why would I do that I'm too lazy for that so I'm gonna click the little gear icon in the header and there's filter operators look at this I can do between so it gives me two different dates I can pick between or I can do in a time period which is my personal favorite where if I say okay to that so it's gonna say let us create many different time periods for you okay so maybe you want to see something with a planned start date in the past three months in the future next year so I just added a filter uh, my first filter if I say update the results then that will update the data below with the new filtering data and if I want to remove the filter, I can simply remove it and update the results again. Very easy to use. Okay? What if I want to scroll down and see, oh wow, there's fields here. Well, what if I want to add fields to a report? Again, really easy to do. If I click on the fields tab, here's all the fields. Maybe I want to add the budget to this report. I move it over from left to right, or I can move from right to left, update the results, and now we have a budget column. Now, when there's tabular data here, it's really nice that you can see how it's interactive. I can column sort. Also, this particular report has a very interactive capability around the pie chart, where you see how it animates. And I can actually click on this report to drill in. Now, these are the actual projects underneath it. And the data down below is recognizing that. And there's even these really cool breadcrumbs, where I can now go back to all the data. It's a very convenient way to navigate and see these reports. Now, perhaps you're not into this kind of pie chart. Maybe you'd like to see some different kind of visualization. Well, here, by clicking here, I can now change it to a horizontal bar chart or a vertical bar chart. It still maintains the same interactivity as the pie chart did. But you can just see so many different presentation capabilities. And then again, once you have it set up the way you like it, you can always do a save or save as. So these are some just basic reporting capabilities that people find most convenient within WorkOtter. Now, heading back to the report home, which I'll click here, how do I know a dashboard? Well, a dashboard, again, is combined reports together to form a dashboard, like this executive dashboard. And there's some things that will tip you off. One is, it has these little blue container areas 
where each piece of the report is pulled into this dashboard. Also we've got these little triple lines which you've seen throughout our user experience and this brings up their own features within the dashboard. Now I can still save or save as but maybe you want to schedule this dashboard uh, every week as a live link or as a Word doc to a particular set of recipients. That's really easily done here. Um, now within these dashboards you can see they still maintain their interactivity and what's also really nice is you can zoom in on one by clicking on the title of a report inside a dashboard. Now I'm down inside the report. So it's just a very uh, convenient way to zoom back and forth uh, and drill into a dashboard. Okay, some other really cool features in these dashboards is you can actually do some interesting reshaping and resizing. So if you are careful and you hover your mouse over the edges of these, now I, you can see how I'm dragging and dropping and resizing my dashboard. Or if I want to remove an element that I don't want in my dashboard, I can I just remove that element and maybe I'll resize this accordingly. So you can see how fun and interactive these dashboards are. Uh, now notice down below how it's giving me this clue that I might want to add something to a dashboard. So if I click down below, because remember we said that dashboards are combinations of reports. So maybe I want to pull a report into this particular dashboard. So I am able to pick any of the reports or I can filter by category. So here are the different project management reports, for example. And this PMO status report is very popular. So that just pulled that into my dashboard. And again, just like before, I can now resize this as I need to to make it look a little better. And then, you know, of course, if you're happy with it, you can save it over the top of our dashboard or create your own. And then you can categorize your own as well. So these are some of the different tips and tricks around dashboards and reports. Now, within WorkOtter, you can see under the first category, Visualizations, we have many different dashboards for you to explore. Uh, many of our dashboards were built by customers for other customers to enjoy. Uh, we hope that all of our new customers will do the same someday. Uh, but, but feel free to explore these. And then in our trial or demo environment, we also have our samples. These are just uh, very interesting ideas that you might want to copy for your own dashboards and reports. So you can see we've got some interesting departmental reports and dashboards. Uh, and some of my favorite are some of the really cool and interesting visualizations where you can experiment or play around or just watch like this transition report which is uh, I think incredibly interactive or this sun sunburst report which is again incredibly interactive. The transition report is one of my favorites because it just truly animates the data and turns it into an interactive video of the data like you're seeing here. But the thing that we love is just the level of capability we have out of the box as well as the ability to truly visualize data in ways that I think are unexpected and like I said fun. So enjoy our dashboards and reports and we think that you will find ones that you definitely love and will want to share with others.